Dublin has some great, great memories from us, going with my mother and my sister every year, and my brothers too, but they weren't into it as much. But all year, from the beginning of January, after Christmas, my mother would be trying to pick out the one that would go to Dublin Horse Show. That was her dream and our dream, and still is. Like you still, it's the feeling when you walk into the RDS with a horse. It's different to any other feeling you can get. Like you know, <sighs> amateur show jumping is difficult. At the end of the day, it's a hobby for for us. Um, we have a two-year-old, and my husband does a good bit of running. So between two full-time jobs, horses, running, a two-year-old. It does take a lot of time to juggle everything and yeah, you usually go to work on Monday morning for a rest after having a hectic weekend. <laughs> Everyone cheers everybody else on. That's the one thing I love about it. All the amateurs are all together and they love, everyone it supports everybody and it's scary. I'd rather be jumping myself sometimes I think than watch it, which wouldn't be possible. My first memory of Dublin would be when it's very small and you'd save up all your money and you could not get to Dublin horse so quick enough to buy rugs, numbness, every bit of gadget for your ponies that you could possibly think of. And then the ponies probably sold a few weeks later. My mother used to have young horses going and we used to go with her. Load up on a Monday morning, the show used to start on a Tuesday, bank holiday Monday, we used to load up. The back of the jeep would be full, two horses more than likely. And after the horse show, about five, six hours drive to Dublin then times up through Nace, calling all the back road, the back, no motorways and get to the horse show then and bed and breakfast someplace near Ballsbridge. And my mother then, we used to get to Eason's, it was the first race, we used to go on a Tuesday morning, she used to buy me a doll and leave me sit on the box all day with the horses in case customers came, I'd be there to say she'd be back in an hour. Because the horses were sold, they went to the horse show to be sold. My first year in Dublin was on a little 12 hands pony that my mum and my granny bought in Gores Bridge at the start of the year, she was a four year old and we went into first rhythm class and we weren't placed but she's only a four-year-old but yeah it was lovely it was just a dream to compete there when you're small and yeah. we've always just show jumped my mom got us into it when we were small like we started going kind lady league and just bring on like young ponies my mom my granny would often be on the local trader buy ponies for a couple of hundred pounds they'd be sold a year later when my legs got too long for them and um, yeah, I just got into the jumping pony club. We did hunting, we did hunt trials, just did a bit of everything, working hunters. Just literally anything that, with that show, we entered it and did it. We were brought, dragged to the horse show, and we always went, every year. And even when my mother had, she could bring up a two-year-old on the Monday, she'd come back down Wednesday night to bring the yearling back up to have a fresh. And one of us was to stay at home to feed the, keep the yearling going, to bring it back in, because the yearlings were in on Thursday not to have her up there all week because they know they lose all the condition and everything if they're in the strange day. But yeah, but every year, never missed it. I'd say hardly ever missed it. Maybe when the babies were small, I did, but no, always, always, and even for a day. The first qualifier, she was meant to go and her name was, next top model was the mayor, right? This is great, Marie was doing a leaving cert. And I said to Marie, we'll go to the qualifier under one condition that you'll study. You bring your books to study on the way up. We got in the, the jeep on our way and I looked and there she was reading the Irish field, no books. So we ended up and she qualified. Where was it Marie that you qualified? Beliver. You qualified in Beliver. No studying done. Went on to the leaving cert and she's working now. Thank God paying for the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so nervous. I remember standing in the middle of Simmons Court chewing the top of my whip. Um, everyone was there with trainers and I was there my first time ever in Dublin and just learned the course and Coming home, I was like, right, we have to up our game here now and try try improve on this and do bigger and better shows and get a bit more experience. Um, before that, we only had young ponies jumping 80s, 90s. So it's the first time doing something more competitive. I rode for in Dublin in the 12 2 show class when I was nine for Miss Fennell in Port Law and I came second. And I wasn't allowed to ride into the, in the main arena because I was too young. They had to put my sister, she's two years older, she rode, and I was going mad, but she rode because the pony could get cracked inside the marina and money could get booked off. And then I used to have shown the horses from my mother. And the, back when I was 15, 16, and she, she always had lovely fillies, best of fillies. She was a great woman to pick out fillies, nearly always fillies. So the best one she ever had then was Trina, she bred her herself. She was by a stallion called Eth Indian, Pat Kinson, Naka Stud had him out of a mare by Patrick. And the first year as a yearling, she went and she came third. And she had won every place before that, but the following year, 
she won in Dublin and she won every championship. She won the All Ireland Yearling Philly Championship as a yearling and she won the Limerick Lady as a two year old. So I've been very lucky to qualify for Dublin for the last five years on the two mares, um, Scarlett Vendy and Nikita Van Het Heidenhoff. Qualifiers are kind of funny. Um, you don't really look forward to them and you really, really hope that everything goes right on the day. It's just you have like nearly 200 competitive amateurs all looking for the same thing, that golden ticket. I'd like to thank everyone that helps us compete. Um, my dad is a great help. He gives us the diesel card every so often. He get, puts a new floor in the lorry for us, just keeps the lorry on the road. My mom is always by my side and helping me with my little lad, Kieran, and my husband, who's always left as well, pick up the pieces when I'm gone out the door at five o'clock in the morning to shows. So we have an early start on Saturday morning for the qualifier. I probably won't sleep the night before, um, but Hopefully it goes to plan, uh, if not this one, the next three. And yeah, all roads lead to Dublin, please God. And the dream of getting a red rosette will be alive and kicking.